Global aviation giant Menzies Aviation is grounding morale among its workers. Uh, they have downed tools and accused the company of flying over labor practices. The workers want permanent monthly salaries and not pay for hours worked. Ian says Mangamam Tlunu reports. <laughs> Disgruntled workers took to the picket line over what they call unfair working conditions. Although they are permanently employed, they are paid only for hours worked and say this is untenable in the current economic environment. These are workers at Menzies Aviation who are permanent employees, but they are getting paid per hour. And this has a direct impact on their lives because what that means is that if on any day they don't show up to work, whether they are sick or perhaps they have to take leave, maybe for a family emergency or whatever the case might be, it means they don't get a full month's pay. And this has an impact on their income. And our members are saying, uh, make us uh, permanent monthly paid workers. The ground operation workers are responsible for cleaning aircraft and baggage handling. They also facilitate check-ins and boarding operations. The union NUMSA warns prolonged mass action will hurt the business. Menzies services uh, Qantas Airways, uh, Cathay Pacific and Fly Safe. Those are the airlines that would most likely be affected by any impact. Um, what Menzies Aviation offers to those airlines is ground handling as well as they offer services for, uh, for, for ticket sales. That's where the bulk of our members are. So we are expecting if there's going to be disruptions, it would be disruptions particularly on those airlines. It would not necessarily affect you know, all the airlines. Workers at Cape Town International Airport also took to the streets but airports company South Africa says there's been little to no impact on operations for now. That may be short-lived though, as the strike has also hit other major airports in the country. Mangobam Kulu or Tambo International Airport.